if students don't know how to grow their own food and if they don't know how to take care of themselves and their families then we felt that they are not getting educated they are just in doc trying to be dependent so we wanted to start a program that could put agriculture as the foundation of learning so that's why we started science and sustainability club we basically took interest in nature and some creatures as well we learned about specific things for example me and my partner we were doing mangroves and we were learning about the medicinal plants and um some insects that come to the garden to eat my es students at the high school are benefiting a lot from the club because our activities are directly linked to our um curriculum Well, if I'm going to go to university, and maybe if I take a class for a science class that talks about the ESS, so this can help me for my experience in the future and for my university. At first, I was like, "Oh, oh my God, this is hard!" But like after that, when you see what you really made, you're just like, "Oh my gosh, that is so cool! I'm really happy I put all this work into it," and like. I'm really happy that I put like all this enthusiasm and effort and like you know it all pays off in the end and like it's because of your genuine interest like we're all volunteers we're not forcing anybody like you have to care about science and sustainability you have no choice it's sort of like a we're all cool here you care about the earth me too let's do something cool We really pride ourselves in trying to find authentic learning opportunities for students. So we work hard to connect our students with um, experiences that are part of Qatar Foundation, and just to bring that authentic learning into the classroom because we know that learning is more than just the curriculum and the books.